So Sunday stretch and strength is very much about that. Also balance as well, um, and mobility and flexibility. Okay. Um, we try to do everything with good posture, good form, um, and I'll give you modifications as we go. So we start with feet hip distance apart and just take a connection through your center. Okay, so engage pelvic floor, feel that lift, and engage through your deep abdominals. So feel that drawing in and up. And then that breath is going to be in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're directing that breath into your rib cage. Okay. So we're going to just start with just a rise onto the toes on the in breath, stretch the arms up to the ceiling and then come back down on the out breath. Okay. So nice and long through your neck and shoulders soft down your back. Breathe in on the way up and breathe out on the way down. So you're just finding a bit of balance at the top there. And then that way you're going to just be warming up those calves, Achilles, same time, shoulders. We're going to start bending the knees, taking it down into a gentle and shallow squat. Hips are back, but try to keep the belly in and the chest lifted. In, breath up, exhale down. Nice so and loose through the arms, no tension through the neck. And most importantly, breathe. So it's a mindful practice. Yeah, we're conscious of that breathing throughout. In, breath up. And exhale out. And we'll do one more of those and hold it at the top. Just reach it up. And then come down. So let's just take one leg back. Okay, reach the arms up and just bring a knee to the hands. Okay, so you're just taking a little bit of weight through that front leg and inhale, reach up and exhale, tuck. So just a little bit more work there into the hips and that standing leg staying strong. In breath up. And exhale, tuck. And one more of those on that side, and then swap legs. So reach up, inhale, and then tuck. Inhale up, and then tuck. You just go to a range for you. So we're just getting a bit of heat going in the body. And then keep posture. Nice and good, nice and strong with core engagement. In breath up. And we'll do one more of those. And then just take the shoulders back and round. Just loosen off the shoulders a wee bit. Breathing. Okay. As you're doing that, let's just take the right arm back. So we're going to just keep that arm going back. I'm going to try to take the left arm forwards. Okay, so don't worry, I will be able to see what version of this you're doing, but just warm up around the shoulder girdle. Okay, and we're gonna swap. We're gonna take that left arm back, so you're sweeping that arm back, and then the right arm's coming forwards. So a little bit of arranging for you, first thing on the Sunday morning. Okay. And then release, nice. So we'll step the feet out so that the toes are out. And we'll come down into a wide leg squat now. In breath down, and exhale up. So you wanna be able to see those toes. All right. As we go down, let's stretch down, and then reach up to open up the chest a bit more. Exhale down. Inhale, up. Open in the chest, shoulders. At the same time, adductors in the thighs. Squeeze as you come up, nice and strong into those thighs. Glutes. And one more. 
and release. So once again, let's turn and step the right leg back, okay? So we're gonna bring that right knee up. We're gonna reach down. Right knee comes up and reach down. So you're trying to reach down to tap the floor if you can. It's as if you're doing a running position. Yeah. Tap down. Get as much range for you. Okay. Reach up. Tap down. So you're standing leg, nice and strong. Do one more and stay down. Heel is up. Now, take the leg that's forward, take that hand up and open up. Then to bring your knee down to the floor if that feels too much. And then come up. And then we're going to turn to face the front with the legs nice and wide. And we're going to go side to side. Okay. So again, listening to your body. And then we're just working again. Inner thighs, hamstrings. We're going to start the hands reaching to the opposite leg or foot and reach away with the other hand. So we get that rotation going on through the thoracic spine. Remember to breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And gradually increase that range, working those big muscle groups. We're going to start feeling that heat building. And then we come up. So I'm going to turn to the other leg forward. So I've got my right leg forward. Okay. I'm going to come up and then reach down. Come up, reach down. Come up, reach down. I'm doing an in-breath to drive the knee up and an exhale to tap. Bit of coordination there. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Getting a bit more range as you go. Reach away with the back arm. And then next time, bring the hand down. Back heel up if you can. And then the leg that's forward, the same hand goes up. And remember to take the knee to the floor. It feels too much that so we're stretching. And then we come back round to the front again. Okay. Uh, we just take the hands to the legs and just do a gentle stretch through the back of the body. Toes are in, heels are out, and just take some breath. And then roll it up and then come up. Okay. So we'll just try another little bit of balance. So you're standing on your mat all right and we're just going to once again left leg strong bring the right knee up and then this time we're going to try to take that leg back you can soften the left leg and try reaching away with the arms come back same leg remember to hold on to something if you need you could either have the hands out to the side for balance or out to the front to extend We'll do three, if we can, we come back, and then reach your way. Extend away with your back leg, and then come back. So you want about thinking about working from your center. So right leg strong, bring that knee up, and then either arms out to the side, or out to the front. Stretch away, then come back, bring the knee up, and again, reach away, draw the belly in. Really having to work on that balance to find a point to focus on. And reach. And come back. Great stuff. Let's step out wide again. And we'll just do a little twist and reach. Twist with the legs straight and stone. So trying to get a little bit more rotation through that middle spine, soften the knees where you need. Reach it away. And then coming up. So we're gonna come now, it should be nice and warmed up. We're gonna do a set of dips. So if you've got a chair or something, or you can do it on the floor. 
So a little bit for the triceps. So if you've got a chair or a sofa or whatever, keep your hips close. All right. Take the feet out as well. Far away as feels like a challenge for you. You could also have heels up. We go down on the in-breath and exhale to press. Or you do this on the floor. Not getting quite as big a range through the elbows, but still having to stabilize and work. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out as you press. Breathe in on the way down. If you're on the chair or the sofa or whatever, then keep the hips close. We're going to go for five, four, three, two, one. And coming up from wherever you're at. Okay, so we're going to switch that from the arms to our wall sit. All right. So back against the wall. Bring the hips, the knees in line. Press the back into the wall, draw the belly in, and get ready for your Sunday rhythmical challenge. So last week I gave you, have you got a dog, great big dog? This week, easier, it's gonna be one, two, three, tequila. So that's gonna keep you going. One, two, three, tequila. So hopefully, we'll start bringing a whole load of rhythms in, yeah, and then we'll be able to combine it, and then I'll just have you all doing it together. One, two, three, tequila. Keep that going. One, two, three, tequila. So if you go to your two, three, tequila, one, two, three, I'll do the have you got a go, great big go. You've got to keep your one going. So you're one, two, three, tequila. I'm happy with the dog, great big dog. We're nearly there. One, two, three, tequila. Last time. One, two, three, and stop. All right, nice job. Okay, so you're going to come to the back of your mat. Standing tall, okay, feet hip distance apart. We're gonna do a roll down, that's chin to chest. Roll down through your spine, from your neck, from your shoulders, from your upper back. Roll down. Start bending the knees. Okay. So we're lifting the sit bones high, the hands can be resting floor, feet, legs, wherever feels good. Bend the right leg, reach the left arm up and open up and bend the left leg and reach the right arm up and open up and come back and tuck the chin and roll up and reach it up come up onto toes and then this time come back down through your heels take it into a squat so take the hands level with the shoulders okay Hold it there, tuck the chin, then roll it back up, scoop your belly in. Reach it up onto the toes. And if you can, you stay on toes, hands level with shoulders, otherwise onto heels as you squat. So you can try toes, the, he knee, the heels up if you want, and then heels come down, tuck and roll up. So we'll do one more of those, either with the feet flat, or with the heels raised as you come to your squat. And then this time, stay tucked, walk the hands out. So we're going to come to downward facing dog, we're going to pedal heels, we're going to draw the belly in and lift the hips high. And we're going to open up through the shoulders. On the in-breath, come to high heels. And on the out-breath, stretch the heels down, push the floor away. On the in-breath, come to high heels. And on the out-breath, into down dog. And one more in-breath. And exhale, heels down, push the floor away. 
Now we're going to shift the weight forwards to a high plank. So at this point, if that feels too much, you can bring knees down. Okay. And then from a high plank, we're going to go to a press up. So knees can be down or not. So we go in breath down, exhale, push. In breath down, exhale, push for six. In breath down, exhale, push. In breath down, exhale, push up. Two more. Once you've done this, you're either going to go down dog or child's posture. So you either down dog here or knees are down or stretching back. Take some breath. And then to your knees, wherever you're at, come up to high kneeling. Okay. We're going to reach the arms out. We're going to reach the arms up. We're going to do a thigh stretch. So we lean back and exhale. We hold that position and then come back up. So with the thigh stretch, you want to have a line from the ears, the shoulders, the hips. You're not sending your hips to your heels. You're taking the body back as one unit, keeping everything nice and strong. Abs are strong. So if I stretch here, if you're doing Pilates with me, you'll be familiar with this. And one more of those. And just hold it for a moment. And then release. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat, either down dog or just all fours. Breathe. Shift that weight forwards again. Once again, we can be on knees or not. We're gonna go for another set of press-ups. Abs are strong. In breath down, exhale, push. In breath down, exhale, push. Wherever you're at, keep good form. Okay, head is well over the hands. And you're trying to go as deep into your press-up as you can. And one more, and either push back down dog or into your child's posture. And get some breath. So we're going to rise up onto the knees again. We're going to step the right leg forwards. And we're just going to sink back and forth, finding a bit of range there into the hip flexors, back leg. And I just breathe. And then finally, just sink down deep into that. And then keep your right hand and keep your left hand up. And then over to your right side, deepening that stretch. And then twist round to your right. And loop round to that right hand. Get some breath. And then straighten the front leg, toes up. Take the hands down the legs on the floor and just do a gentle hamstring stretch. Breathing there. And release. We're going to come back to that high knee lift, so make sure the knees are comfortable. So we're just going to develop our thigh stretch a little bit. We're going to reach up in here. Exhale, we're going to go back. Keep the neck long, shoulders down the back. We're going to reach away with one arm. And then we're going to come back and we're going to inhale to the top. And exhale away, back. And then reach the arm away on the in-breath. Exhale, forwards, inhale to lift. Exhale, we're going back. Inhale, we're reaching. So we're adding that rotation, and breath up. Exhale, we're going back, we're holding it strong, hips are forwards. Take the arm back and then lift to the top. Exhale, we go back. Inhale to reach. Exhale, come forwards. Keep that neck long, shoulder blades soft down the back. Keep your pelvic floor engaged and your deep abdominal. Reach away, we're gonna do one more. Exhale back, twist, reach, and then release. And then either come to down dog or child's posture. And just take some breath there, breathe. So, next thing, you're gonna come down onto your forearms. Okay, and we're just gonna step the feet back. Okay and breathe. So from here, we're just going to start walking the feet up towards your elbows. So your hips are going to lift, your head staying lifted, and then you're going to be looking through and you're pulling your belly in. You're going to walk back and then try and hold. When you need to, come down to your knees in between, otherwise hold. Press the floor away, 
walk the feet up, look through, and then walk it back. And either hold it or take your knees to the floor or rest. This time, walk up. If you want a little bit more challenge, lift the leg, reach, push the floor away. The head is off the floor. Change legs. Remember to rest where you need. Knees down. Come back. Hold it. And then rest back. So take it into child's posture there, taking some breath. As you're in your child's posture, walk your hands round to your right hand side, get that stretch down through the side of your spine. Breathe. Walk round to the other side. Okay, so we're going to come to a side plank position now. All right. So elbow underneath shoulder. All right. So we can start in this position, bending the knee and the other leg straight, lift the hips. Okay, and then reach the arm away. So this is the uh, sort of base level position we'll work from, pull the lower waist up, and we tuck in breath away, and we tuck, making this harder, come off of the knee, stack the feet, and tuck. Draw your abdominals in, keep your lower waist lifted, use your breath, in breath away, exhale, tuck, in breath away, Exhale, tuck. And last one. And then come down onto your front. And just take some breath. So from this position, stretch those arms out. Okay? And lift the arms. And if you can, you're going to be lifting lifting your feet as well, bend the elbows, keep the elbows high, press the arms away, and inhale to come back, press the arms away, and inhale, come back, press the arms away, keep the elbows lifted, then take the feet to the floor if it feels too much, and press, and inhale back, keep the elbows lifted, Anytime you need a rest, take a rest and then join back in. Keep your belly strong, relax your gaze, keep the elbows high, nice and slow. And two more. And then release. Okay, just take some breath there and just draw your right heel in, reach for that foot. That feels too much, roll onto your side. Draw the knees together. Keep the hip bones down, engage your core. Swap legs, either on your front or on your side. Take some breath. And if you're able to, both legs together, otherwise one at a time. And then lift the chest. Lift the knees, press feet into hands, pull on those feet or those legs. Rock and roll if you can. And then release. And then push back into child's posture. Take some breath. So we are now going to come to your other elbow from that side orientation where we were before, elbow under shoulder. Start with the leg on the floor, lift the hips, reach the arm, tuck. So exhale, tuck, harder still, stack the feet, lift, in breath away, and tuck. So you've got to stabilize through the shoulders and through the core, Keep the lower waist lifted. In breath away, exhale to tuck. Reach, tuck, reach, tuck, reach, tuck. Keeping that lower waist lifted. Breathing. And come down. 
Okay, so we're going to swing round. And we're going to take those legs out wide as you can. And sit tall. And then from here, let's just do a little gentle stretch forward. Toes up, heels away. Keep breathing. Okay, body should be nice and warm now. So hopefully we're getting a bit more length, a bit more range. We're walking around to the right leg. And we're stretching down. Breathe, toes up, heels away. Rolling those sides out and away. Other side. Come back center. See if you go a little bit wider. Sit tall now if you can. Reach those arms out. Twist on the in breath and exhale to reach. Twist on the in and exhale to reach. So as you reach, remember that back hand, rotate that in and reach the hands away. Use your breath. In breath, twist, exhale, reach. So this is the saw in our Pilates uh, classes. So with the breath, you're trying to get a bit more range. As you reach, reach towards the outside of that foot or leg. Come up in here, exhale, reach, backhand reaching away. And you can loop towards the backhand as you reach those arms away. And last one. And then come back to the centre and give the legs a shake. Bring the hands up. So we've the feet up and just loosen off into the hips there. Okay, good. So we're going to swing around and we're going to sit on your mat with your feet hip distance apart. So we're trying to sit tall here. So pull the belly in, lift the chest. All right. And then from here, we're going to do a roll back. We can either do that with the hands behind the knees or reach the arms out. Tuck the chin in, scoop your belly in, and as if you're someone's pulling through the middle spine, rounding your back, keeping the knees steady. Take it to where it feels like a challenge. Come back up and roll back. And then with those knees and those feet, keep them still. So with the knees, imagining that you are holding something between the knees. Then just take those hands behind where you need. Try not to rely on them too much. Really, really focus on using those deep abdominals. It'll only work with the range that feels good and is a challenge. As you come up this time, lift. As you go back this time, hold. Now, reach away. Come back center and lift. So just as we did with those thigh stretches, we add a little challenge, that rotation, and we come up in here. We go back, exhale, and we inhale to reach. Follow that hand, we come up. We roll back, and we reach. And we come up in here, and we roll back. Keep your neck long. Keep those shoulder blades soft down your back. Last one. Reach up, and now roll it back. All the way. Two hug the knees into your chest. Okay? And then from here, if it feels okay, straighten your right, your left leg on the floor. Push the heel away. Draw the right knee in. If you don't like that, bend that left leg. So we're going to stretch the right leg up to the ceiling and place the hands on the floor. We're going to just do a leg circle. Okay? So just mobilizing the hips. Whilst you're doing that, you're keeping your left leg steady. And it can either be long or bend the leg. So we're going to change direction. Take an in-breath and then change direction. Keep the abs strong and just take it into as big a range as you can. And then come back to the center and hug the knees in. And now curl your head up towards your knees. Take your hands behind your head and lift the legs up. Lower one leg down and then draw it back. Lower the other leg down and draw it back. Keep curled up. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can and try and draw the feet directly above the hips. We can continue with that or we can do a double leg, lower and raise. Remember, it's an in breath down, then exhale up. Try to take the heels down and the toes up. 
the heels down and the toes up. The heels down, toes up, last one. And then hug your knees in. And just take some breath. And just sort of pull your knees out and round just to loosen up into the hips. Changing direction. Breath always there. So right leg now, either long on the floor like you're standing on it, left knee drawn into chest, or bend the right leg, okay? Stretch the left leg to the ceiling, okay? And circle around. So whatever you're doing, we're trying to keep real stillness in the body. So that right hand could come to the hip if you want, and that checks in with the pelvis there, okay? Remember that right leg can be long as you sweep around. Come back to the center, take an in breath, change direction, sweeping around. Last one. And hug those knees into your body. And once again, curl the head up. Okay, this time, reach for your feet and tuck in. All right, as we do an in-breath, we're going to reach arms and legs away. Bring those shoulders, those hands reaching behind you. Exhale, sweep. In-breath, away. Exhale, to sweep. In-breath, away. As you sweep round, get hold of those legs and tuck in. Try to maintain a real stillness in the body. So this is called a double leg stretch. Reach, tuck, reach. Tuck. If you're not liking this with the with the arms, take the head down and maybe just do single legs in and out. Okay. And last one. And hug the knees in. And take the head side to side to release your neck. So we're going to roll up now. We're going to bring the hips so they're up towards your heels. Okay. And we're going to tuck the head in. So we're going to try and stay tucked up and we're going to try and roll it like a ball. So we can either do that, holding on to shins or down to the feet, or if that feels too much, take the hands by your side. Those of us that want more challenge, you're going to reach for your legs and you're going to hold your legs out and you're going to roll back and you're going to roll up, you roll back and you roll up. Use that breath. And one more. And bring those feet back. And once again, let's just lie back. This time we're going to stretch the legs long. We're going to draw the belly in. We're going to reach the arms up and over the head. Okay, we're going to push the heels away. We're going to try and do a roll up. So we want to bring the hands level the shoulders now. Scoop your belly in, tuck your tailbone as you curl your head up and roll up. And then reach two, three. Tuck your chin and roll it back nice and slow. So concentrate on this part if the roll up is really tough. And if the roll up's too much, take your hands behind your thighs to help roll up and bend the knees a little bit. Tuck the chin in at the top and lead with the crown of the head as you stretch, and then roll it back. Push the heels away. Reach up and over. Hands up with shoulders, chin to chest. Scoop the belly, and then reach two, three, slowly back. Reach up and over. Hands up with shoulders, chin to chest. And reach, two, three. We're going to do one more of those. And then when we come to the top, we're going to stay there. Just stretch. Hit the hands down the legs or the feet. And just give yourself a stretch into the back of the body. Breathe. And then from there, just swing those legs around. Okay. And bring your hands to the front of the mat. Tuck your toes and lift up to your downward facing dog. Pull your belly in. And just take some breath. Okay, from here, we're going to lift your right leg up 
to the ceiling. On the out breath, we're gonna tuck your knee and your nose. In breath, we're gonna lift up. And exhale, we're gonna tuck. In breath, up. Exhale, tuck. That's feeling too much. Come down to your knees. Stretch opposite limbs away. And then tuck. In breath, away. And tuck. In breath, away. And tuck. Two more, wherever you're at. And then wherever you're at, come down, stretch your back, child's posture, take the breath. Breathe into your back. So once again, either setting up to down dog or on hands and knees. Left leg up if you're in down dog, tuck knee, nose, right in the back. Or you're on your hands and knees. You're doing your opposite limbs from last time. Breathe. In breath away. Exhale, you tuck. And last one. Come down. Stretch it back. And breathe. So from here, we're going to roll onto our backs again. And we're going to hug those knees into the chest and just place the left foot on the floor and take the right foot on top of the left thigh and draw this right foot up as far as you can towards the crease of your left hip and just press against the inside of that right leg. Okay, now lift that left leg off the floor, then reach for your leg and pull it. Head can be up or down. So keep pulling in to feel that stretch across the right side of the hips there. Breathe. And let's swap right leg on the floor. Take the left foot on top of the right thigh and just press against the inside of that leg. Okay, open up. And then try taking the right foot off the floor, reach for that leg and pull head up or down. And breathe as you're trying to just develop that stretch into the hips. And release. Hug the knees into the chest. And just stretch out with your arms. Okay? And just take some breath. Stretch the left leg long on the floor. And once again, wrap your hands around that right knee. Now try stretching it up to the ceiling. And then just draw the hands up and see if you can just pull in, trying to draw your knee and your nose towards one another. Breathing. If it's too much with the left leg long, bend that leg. From there, just take the left hand to the side, drop the head down and draw the right leg out to the side. So you're going to take that as far away as you can and look over your left hand. Okay, keeping the left leg uh, active as well. So we're going to come back and we're going to swap to the other side now. So take the right hand to the right side and take the left leg out. Keep the left leg active, wrapping it in so you're not just collapsing. Keep stretching away with your right arm, keeping that shoulder down. Come back to the center and hug those knees in. Stretch your right leg long. Okay, hug the left knee into the chest. And then stretch the left leg up and walk the hands up and into that hamstring pull, that stretch. If you're not comfortable with your right leg long, bend the right knee and then draw it. But keep the hips on the floor. Now, as we drop the head, we take the left leg down to the side and draw the right hand out and look to the right hand. So use your left elbow or whatever to support your uh, left leg. Try not to let the right leg fall on the left leg. Come back. Take the right leg over to that right side now and look to your left hand. So you can keep that uh, right leg straight or you can bend it. Left leg even. Breathe. I've probably mixed you right up with this one. Um, using lefts and rights too many times, 
And then come back and hug those knees in. Now just tuck the heels in. Okay. And peel your spine up and off the floor. And lift your hips and walk your hands towards your feet. So maybe you're going to interlace fingers now. Okay. And you're lifting up. Squeeze those inner thighs towards one another. Lift the chest. Open up. Maybe you're going to wrap your hands around your ankles or maybe you're going to take your hands side of the head or maybe you could try and push up and off the floor and come back down hug your knees in and just take some breath and then roll up and then swing round. So you're going to come round to your hands and your knees. So you get your hands under your shoulders, knees under hips. Make sure those wrists are comfortable. Roll the mat up if you need. Look up, inhale, send your tailbone away. Exhale, scoop your belly and round that back. Tuck the tailbone under, cat stretch, in breath away. And exhale, the cat. So open up. And again, in breath away. And exhale to your cat. Come back to neutral. Just take the hands forwards, tuck the toes, lift up to down dog, cool the belly in, pedal the heels up and down. Breathe. So we're just going to hook your right foot over your left calf and then sink your left heel down. Pushing the floor away. Stretching a little bit more into that left calf. We're going to change sides. Put the left foot round the right calf and sink down. Pushing the floor away. Come back to your down dog. And now start walking your hands to your feet. Tuck your head in and roll it up through your spine until you come back to standing. So we come back to standing and we're going to take the feet out. Right about two and a half, three feet. Toes are in, heels are out. And interlace your fingers behind your back. And then look up, inhale, pull your belly in and then just fold it down. So we're going to stretch out through the back of the body and through the chest and the shoulders here. Tuck in the head in. Soften the knees where you need. If you're doing a yoga practice with me regularly, you'll be used to this one. Wide leg stretch here. Shift the weight through your feet. Feeling that connection. And then slowly come up. And just release those arms. Now we're just going to turn one foot. Okay. And we're just going to stretch down into a triangular stretch, another yoga posture. Take the hand down that front leg and then reach up to the ceiling, opening up through the chest and the shoulders. You can look up or look forward and then come up. So you're going to tuck that foot in and turn the other foot. Thighs are strong and reach down and reach up. So you'll feel that stretch into the inner thighs a little bit, hamstring and opening up through the Chest and the shoulders. And then come up. And then bring those feet back to hip distance apart. Okay, so from here, just take some breath. Just take your hands to your lower ribs, okay? And just close the eyes if you want. And let's just take some breath now. So on that in breath, feel the rib cage expanding. And on the out breath, feel the abdominals drawing in. So with these deeper breaths, we're just bringing that heart rate back down. And 
and release those hands. Okay. Just take those hands behind your head. Just take a little twist to one side and then to the other side. And then just take the hands onto the small of your back and just squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another and just turn the head one side and the other side. And then bring the chin through to the chest and just roll right through to one shoulder and then roll right through to the other shoulder. And then come back. And shake it out. Okay. Beautiful stuff.